What's what's been the fun part about what you do? Oh, just being able to be myself and do it at my own pace. Like literally not living up to nobody else's standards. Like it's so many standards where, oh, you need to do it like this to get here. You need to be this to be this. You need to look this way to get here and all that stuff. I'm literally doing it my way. Right. Yeah. I am being who I yeah. am and God is accepting to that. So I, I enjoy waking up and saying, I can literally do what I want to do okay. today and walk in purpose. If you are live, subscribe show. Um, it's always an honor and a pleasure for everybody that's tuning in. Uh, the support has been great. Uh, I've never complained about that, but um, I thought about something this week. And uh, I want to speak to this just for the Nashville people. Uh, I've been in entertainment and this stuff for over 20 years. And everybody that has made it, they ain't never complained. And when I'm talking about the people like the Bucks and the Starlitos, and the Quanis, um, everybody always talking about, you don't support me or they don't support, um, you don't need nobody but God to support you. Uh, I say, I know I say that it sounds cliche, but that's all you need. Uh, I think that's a, um, that's, I think it's a mental thing that people feel like if everybody ain't bagging me up, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, I've heard people say that, but that's a lie. And so, Trust me, if you want to make it, I always say this about entertainment. If you want to do entertainment, entertainment is one of the hardest platforms that you ever going to have to make it. So if you're going to do entertainment, you need to do it at your fullest potential. Don't worry about who supports you, who don't support you. Because one thing about it is when you finally get to a certain point of where you're going, they're going to have to support you anyway. And, 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 and one thing about it is if you do music, if your music is good, people are going to like it. So you don't have to ask for the support. And I say that because I want to always encourage the people that's coming up. I don't want them to be fooled by if I, if y'all don't support me, I won't make it. And so uh, that's why I like who I got on my guest today, Mimi the Gold. I've never heard you complain about support. Hey, because at this point in life, you can't complain, all right? <laughs> God, everything he done brought me through, everything I am, ain't no complaining, okay? Even when I want to complain, I say, you better stop motherfucking complaining. What makes you, um, when you get up in the morning, what makes you want to keep going and not complain? Ooh, my son, the journey I have been on to get to this place of peace to know I done been through a hell that most people can't even get out of. And God brought me through. And it's like, hey, God, this what you got for me? Let's do it. Right, right, right. Let's do right. it. Fuck it. Uh, Mimi, you are so talented in so many Thank things. You. Thank you. So many things. But what do you really want to do? Like, what's your, what's your dream of being? Like, what <gasps> do you really, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I know you rap like you are a, 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 sensation on TikTok and all these plays, but what do you really want to do? It's crazy because I would have such a a cliche answer of, uh -huh. oh, I want to be this big person or this, this, this. <laughs> I literally want what God got for me okay. at this point in life. Like, I just, I everything I thought I wanted to be, God was like, no, this is what I got for you. This is who you are, who you tr truly are, and this is, this is what you do and wherever he got me to go i know it's going to fulfill every purpose that is within me so i have nothing big i just literally want to do what god got for me i want to walk in the purpose i want to walk in the lane he got for me like because i know it's going to give me all that my heart desires i want peace mm -hmm. i want my family to be good i want to break generational curses i want to get closer to god mm -hmm. That's that's what I want. Like okay. I at this point in life, I didn't had the money. Okay. I done lost it. I done got to been broke. I done been through so much shit. Oh my god! <laughs> to where it's like, what else does he? I I haven't. I've lost a lot, but I've gained so much from losing because it's helped me into this certain extent of God got it. And 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 um, I have I wanna I didn't want to start here, but I can I want to start here. Um, I've watched your journey and I just watched and I watched, but it's probably been about a month and you posted something. I, t I cried, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a tear really 100% came down my eye. And when I saw you in that hospital 
and I saw that gunshot wound, and I saw you still smiling. Like, I don't know if you can go into depth of that, but, like, can we, like, what? Like, I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I didn't want to start here, but it was just, like, that's just something that just touched me. And I, and I just said, like, how can she still be smiling after you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a uh, it's sweet because you done draw those tears to I'm me. I'm sorry, I, you know what I'm saying. It's okay because again, that's another thing God has for me to okay. share. Yeah. So, um, getting shot was one of the hardest, most life changing things that happened to me. Like getting shot in the chest, like ooh, when you hear, like. They told me I wasn't even supposed to make it. Wow. They told me I was a miracle. Like, every step of that way was so dark, mm -hmm. especially the beginning. You can't sleep. You can't barely eat. Every sound you hear fucks with you. Every Everything messes with you. And to this day, I don't know why. Okay. Who? Okay. Wow. But, like, I, what I would say I took from it, and I'm blessed to be able to take this from it, is it had me to slow down to see what God had for me for these coming moments. Okay. Because I had to sit in a trauma that most people don't make it out of. Most definitely. I had to still go on being a single parent to take care of my child to where he didn't even know what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And God blessed me to where he didn't have to carry on that trauma with me. Okay. He learned about it later on, you know, but he got to see mama being strong. Like when he did learn about it, he cried a little bit and it was just okay. like, how did that happen? And I'm just mm -hmm. like, but, Mama to a made person it. like you, you know what I'm saying? Like Mama you, made it you know what through, saying? man. Was that before he he was here, or was he? No, here he was with, here. Okay, he okay. was here. So that's that's another thing of God not letting him have to feel that trauma. Okay. So yeah, I got shot in my own home, hmm. and that's another thing where that's a whole nother motherfucking trauma that most people do not get through. Do you stay there after that or do I you? I had stayed there after you know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I didn't have the money to move or nothing. Okay. So again, not knowing who, why, what, having to get through that kind of trauma huh, with God. God put me in a place of literally, it's me and him. Okay. I don't to this day. I say thank you for bringing me through so that I can live to tell this story because so many people, it's so many people that message me just like, thank you for sharing it yeah, yeah. because I went through this. Mm -hmm. I she, Most people don't even make it out of it. Most people don't even get to a point to where they can smile again. Yeah. And I get to live to say, I saw you smile in, in it. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got, and you got most people like for me, I, I wouldn't smile. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why I know, like, I know it's the power of God, like, on you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's the only thing. I swear to God. bring you through that because you look like you'll shoot a pistol back. You know what I'm saying? Only <laughs> God. You know what I'm saying? Only God. Because, yeah, it was, that was, I wasn't supposed to be here. Well, you know what? People tell me stop saying that. You I'm supposed to be, supposed here. To be, be here. here. That's, that's why you're here. Uh, that's, why I'm here. that's why I'm here. But the circumstances, uh, it wasn't supposed to be in my favor in a sense of humanity, like what I went through, getting shot in my chest, my lung, and where it was placed. Like, wasn't supposed to make it through. What is what what is it like uh being a mom to your son? Ha, uh, it is <laughs> the most uh, it's being a parent is a full time job. Uh -huh. Right? That's it's the um, the hardest job, but the best job. Because I get to grow with my child. Uh -huh. I had my son. I got pregnant at 17, had him at 18. I was a senior in high school. Uh, my son is nine now. Shout out to Prince. <laughs> that's my dog. Son, he's been um, <laughs> yeah, that's my, <laughs> he's my twin. And I get to grow with him. And I get to um, also heal my inner child with him in a sense of me healing helps me to heal the things in him, okay. you know, because things I didn't learn or that I didn't know of, I get to implement in him mm -hmm. so that he could be a better version of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he acts just like his personality is times 10. Sometimes it can be an overbearing thing because I'll be like, oh, my, sit down, what chill out. What is he talented in? Oh, everything, sports, music, dancing. He loves it all. Like anything he puts his mind to, I always tell him, he can do it because he's just one of them kids of many talents. Like, everybody loves to be around my child. He it, he gets on my nerves to where he wants, like, everybody just gravitates. And I'm like, son, we can't trust these people like that. Calm down. But, you know, that's my own trauma. So, okay. yeah. But he's he's a loving child. He's a loving child. Okay, so if, if you had to instill that in him, who instilled it in you to make you? Well, I would say my mama, my auntie, my auntie Brandy, 
Um, I have a godparent, um, Tanya. I have a women around me that I grew up with or grew um through life with, um, family, friends that, you know, we have the same kind of morals and values, mm-hmm. but life too, you know, cause you got the bloodline stuff. You yeah. know, I, I grew up around real niggas. Like yeah. my mama, a real, real. nigga. Yeah, okay. She she I be a, seeing she her a, out in the clubs she, and stuff. Yeah, my mama. She a real one. <laughs> 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 oh, don't be putting out my mama like that. Hold on. Wait, my mama's a real nigga, you know, um, and having to, I grew with my mama too. Mm-hmm. So I have that life of me and my mama grew together too. So it's traumas in that, but it's also greatness in it because seeing a woman have to go through a life of hardships and still make the best out of it. Yeah. You know, most people don't get to see that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, that instilled a lot in me having women around me that was like that. Like, So what, 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 where is dad in the situation when you're coming up with mom? Is, is, is dad present or anything? Because, with 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 the growth of you and just you would think like you had a full support around is you know what I'm saying if that is dad anywhere or uh well my dad died when I was six sorry to hear that ah uh, yeah it's uh, at this point in life you know mm-hmm. it is what it is um do you remember anything from him you know what I'm saying just being a kid well. I remember certain things. I remember my daddy always telling me I wasn't going to have no boyfriend. <laughs> I remember my daddy always he, making sure. He got a sure, boyfriend yeah. now. Just to let he y'all know. Yeah, my cousin yeah. and everything going to be yeah. like, oh, Yo, your daddy did not play <laughs> about you. you. Um, He always made sure I stuck to my my studies, my books. Even my daddy died when I was six, and I remember having to sit down at a table. And, uh, and my daddy was a teacher, too. So okay. he uh always had something for me to work on. I remember those things. But... Uh, trauma blocked out a lot in my my head of memories. Okay. And as I'm healing now, like I'm able to remember things as people say certain stuff. Um, but yeah, I didn't grow up with my dad. And so what's the, what's what's the healing process when you for you the all you've been through and I know it's God, but what's the healing process day by day for you? You know what I'm saying? Like what are you what what what's me to go? What's your day by day healing process? My healing process, I would say, is first off to wake up, wake up in gratitude. Um, I do my best to wake up. Even I teach my son before he go into school, we tell God what we're grateful for. Uh-huh. Um, because that is healing also to know that the one of the richest things is being able to wake up to see another day. Most definitely, yeah. Um, I like to heal my physical. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been back on my workout journey. And that's not just for, oh, I just want to be the skinniest bitch ever. <laughs> but I, I definitely want to um, uh, discipline my mind okay. to get in the gym to do the work, right? Because yeah. if you could discipline your mind to get in and do the work, you could discipline yourself to get in and do all kinds of work, you know, yeah. um, not just physical. Um, uh, I'm learning to read more. Um, learning to, I, I love, I have a lot of like therapy pages yeah. and stuff. Cause I'm not the type of person, not saying I, I think therapy, any kind of therapy is good for anybody, huh. but I'm more of a, a reader, like reading into stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and learning more about myself. I love to do that. That is very therapeutic for me and healing for me, yeah. learning who I am because you have to learn who you are good and bad to be able to heal through Anything. You have to know who you are. Most definitely. You yeah. know, so that's another thing uh, day by day. And uh, also being able to do things that are purposeful. How do you, um, with with where you are and your growth, because I always say this, everybody is not growing. Yeah. And you're growing. How do you choose who to be around and where to be around and where to go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, want, I really want to know that. How do, yeah. you, how do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that's another thing. Again, I know it might sound cliche, but uh, God, I, okay. I pray on it. Um, I let my spirit guide me, definitely. Like, because I've already been in that place of life of, you know, I've always been a popular person. Mm-hmm. Everybody around me, you know, having a lot of friends and stuff. And I was one of them. You had to go through the hurts, the betrayals, and all these things to be able to see things for what they truly are. Mm-hmm. Though you got to catch the red flags. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm a very optimistic person. I'm that person always trying to 
help people mm -hmm. and I see the different in people, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, so sometimes I got to get hurt in order to see people are not like me and okay. have to yeah, weed yeah. that out. Yeah. Um, but also I just now understand who I am. So if somebody's spirit ain't right, if somebody is not talking right, shit, I'm an empath too. I can literally feel so many things to where I just don't like to engage in too many things. Cause all the worldly stuff. And even when it's coming to like relationship wise, um, we all know where you go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like nobody, nobody is blind to where you're going. Yeah. And so how do you pick a relationship that you feel is proper for you in the path that you're going down? Well, I would say realism. Um, relate. Are you, you talking about, uh, I'm, any boy, relationship? I'm talking about, I'm talking about because you, you, you're going to a certain place. I know you might want marriage one mm -hmm. day and, um, where you at now, you just at that growing state. But in a minute, you're gonna be in a place to where, like, you're you're a star. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And I'm just and I'm just being like, I'm gonna be the first if you guys don't know. Like, this is a real star. Like, she's already major. And so, how do you pick your relationship with when you're talking about boyfriend wise? Because you know where you're going. Yes. And this person gonna be down with you. Yeah. And this person. So when you get all these millions and all this, all this nice stuff, like, how can who do you know? How do you know this is the person for you? Again, realism, growth, and God, like. First off, we need people that's going to want to, you're you going to need a person that want to grow. Okay. Not a person that want to be stagnant or think Thanks. they know everything. Everybody got something to grow from. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their shit. Okay. Um, realism. A person that is like real with themselves, good and bad, know where they're at. Yeah. And God, their relationship with God, like a man that can guide you in the spirit. Do, the that, man do that matter when it comes to relationship? Do it matter um, religion wise? I would say I'm not Muslim. You might be a Muslim. You might be a Christian. Does, does that, <laughs> ah, does that, man, it listen. It's easy to go run around here with a Muslim, no, which ain't nothing I wrong with not. it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, gotta, no. Let me say <laughs> Shout out to Muslims. All right, now listen. We love yeah, them. They still spiritual too. Most um, yes. God is in all of them. Yes, okay? But uh, it's not my preference, okay? okay. My man, God-driven, you know what I'm saying? Um... I grew up in Baptist, uh, Baptist Christian Christianity. You yeah. know what I'm saying, but I also am not highly religious. Okay. I'm more spiritual than religious. Yeah. Uh, but I understand the religion part. But religion is so many, it's so many different things that come to play. So whereas, uh, yeah, I, I don't know certain <laughs> religions. I would not be able to tap into. Dude. Okay, so yeah, and I don't, I don't care to. Okay, but. Yeah, we over here, God driven Christ Christians. <laughs> and okay, and so um, how do you separate your religion from rap and what you do? Mm. I don't feel like it's really separated for me. Okay. I feel like I'm being who God chose me to be. So you gonna hear me talk about God? Yeah. I might cuss. I mm. might say whatever. I'm gonna be true to who I am because I still believe in God. God still loves me, so I cannot allow with a religion to judge, like say, oh, my religion or the people in the church won't believe in what I'm saying. Ah, well, shit. Yeah, <laughs> God say don't judge. What the fuck is you out here judging for? Why, why? And God said don't do it. Y'all preach you, that. Why are you okay? out here judging? As long as I love God and God love me and God and I am showing love and appreciation to my God and. and and then the rule of who I am, hey, I'm going to do me. What What do you, um okay. And then when it comes to the entertainment, like all the stuff that go on entertainment, like, you know, it's, it's quote unquote, a lot of bad in it, but it's a, it's a great amount of good in it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I think the financial part is good and all that. But so how do you kind of, how do you survive as a woman in their entertainment? Like, how do you how do you pick and choose who you work with and what kind of music you making and stuff like that? How do you where do you put yourself in? Even when it's talking about getting a deal or something, like where do you put yourself in the entertainment part of it? Ooh, that's another thing because I kind of 
I, I would honestly say I don't put myself in the entertainment part of it. I just mm. literally am letting I can't make it up. I am letting God <laughs> guide me. <laughs> if you ain't from God, if this ain't what God got for me to do, I can't <laughs> fuck with it. They got respect to anybody on how they doing shit. <laughs> I can't. But me personally, I don't put myself in that box of, hey, I'm waiting on a deal or um, this is going to be the right thing for me. So I'm gonna work till I get to this. Yeah. I am literally like, God, if this ain't, if this ain't from you, I don't want it. And I am on your timing and choosing the music. I literally am being who I am in a, I, I would say I choose my music with my mood. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, I am a woman of many personalities. Yeah. I am a Sagittarius. Okay. Sometimes I want to dance. Sometimes I want to talk my shit. Sometimes I, hey, I want to teach something. I might want to do it all in one. So yeah. you never know what kind of song you're going to get with me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> because, you got a viral song got yeah. there right now. Straight right to that money. Straight to that, that right money. To that moolah. How much do you love money? Oh, so I love, hmm, I used to <laughs> love money. Okay. Money is not my drive no more. Okay. But again, I'm a hustler. Like, hey, got to go get it. Straight to the money. Like, mm -hmm. get. I believe in get your bag, get your money. But don't let it run you. Okay. What they what that movie said? Um, what she said? Diamond said to her on that stripper movie. Don't let the look. don't let it run you. Get the money. <laughs> I don't remember y'all. Y'all know I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> somebody know. I, I, but, I, I remember what, what Ronnie said. Maybe that's what Ronnie said. No, Ronnie said, use what you got to get what you no, want. Oh, shit. It wasn't what Ronnie said, y'all. I think it was what, was what Diamond what Ronnie... said. Diamond <laughs> said it to her cousin. Okay. Y'all go back in it. I don't know, remember what it is. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> definitely not what Ronnie said, y'all. What's What's been the fun part about what you do? Oh, just being able to be myself and do it at my own pace. Like, literally not living up to nobody else's standards. Like, it's so many standards where, oh, you need to do it like this to get here. You need to be this to be this. You need to look this way to get here and all that stuff. I'm literally doing it my way. Right. Yeah. I am being who I am, yeah. and God is accepting to that. So I, I enjoy waking up and saying, I can literally do what I want to do today and walk in purpose, and I'll be all right. When every time, um, this is what I like about uh, the internet. Mm. The internet, when you learn it, it's good, and I can look at a video and tell when it's gonna go viral. Uh huh. And when you did that cicada video, I said it's viral. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's when you, hilarious. When you did so, um, how do you come up with this stuff? Like, where? Like, how do you like? Okay, I'm gonna do a video about cicadas today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Man. Is, it, is, is, is it a practice or do you kind of go with the flow or what? You know what I'm saying? I go with what I'm feeling. Like, literally, I trust my spirit in something. Like, I can literally feel something today. And anybody that know, I, I am being real. I don't fuck with cicadas, <laughs> even if cicadas was fucking with me. <laughs> and I don't even find out cicadas was some kind of spiritual entity or something or whatever. And I still wouldn't fuck with a cicada, okay? If they try to rob and, you. If they try to get me, they, I'd be shit out of luck, okay? Because I was so scared. Oh, they gave me anxiety real bad. And that was something for me and my spirit where share with the world. Like, yeah. I know it's other people that feel the same way right. as you. It was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's something that my spirit say, hey, share it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what uh, is authentic. Yeah. I have no problem with saying I will let a cicada rob the fuck out of me. I don't, I don't fuck with bugs. Yeah. Now, I'll talk about if they had a cicada to my face, I would have been, Come on. I've been fucked so if up. I wanna, if I want to rob you or something, get, get, you get probably would have got me. Now, I, I will say, if I got that, that thing on me, you and that cicada will get shot. <laughs> but, I may not get it out fast enough, I don't know, if I see that cicada. I just, I don't know. When, but yeah, when I first met you, um, I'm not the guy that act like I've been knowing me to go out. I met you through Avery Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that girl movement, like, what made what makes y'all so strong to have that movement, and what makes you want to just do it when you got your own platform? Well, I will start off at I had a personal relationship with Avery already, mm -hmm. and I tell people when God is in it. I, I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And God was definitely within this project with me and these girls because the first time we all had already known, you might know of each other mm -hmm. or have known each other. And when we came together, it just clicked. Like, and again, stuff that sit right with my spirit. I'm like, this gotta be something that God got for us to do. 
first off, it's not happening like a lot where women are getting together. First off, because most people don't know, when Avriana brought us together for the project, we we had the project, we had probably, we had a um a day to perform, and it was supposed to be done. Like, mm-hmm. we was pushing it for a little minute, it was supposed to be done. We as women chose to still push that all together as a collective because we all felt in our spirit this is for a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. And I loved it because everybody was just, everybody's so genuine. Everybody just showing the love, you know, and things just happen how it happened. And God, everything on God's timing, supposed to stop, supposed to stop, supposed to go, supposed to go. But it made the change that it was supposed to make. What does support mean to you or what does support look like to you? Support, I would say, first off, I tell, I always try to put this word in front, in front of it. Genuine support looks like people um, loving something and seeing you and saying, I want to see you do great. Mm-hmm. So I want to support this. Okay. I don't, I'm not looking for nothing from okay. you. I want to see you be great. Anything I can do to help you, okay. I will do it. I'm not looking for nothing in return. That is a genuine support because you still have people that support you, okay. but they will literally, they looking for something. Oh, don't forget me. You you better remember me or you, oh, you owe me this or yeah, I was that person supporting when da. Don't fucking support me if you're going to do all that shit. <laughs> don't the fuck out of here. But genuine support, like, yeah. That is thing. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> oh no, I got a little uh, wind drawing the and throat. And when it when it comes to Nashville and uh, small <laughs> as we are, like, and with you, <laughs> like, everybody don't have a platform like you. You know what I'm saying? And so, how did you even learn how to grow your platform? Like, how did you learn how to say I'm gonna do TikTok? I'm gonna do this. How you even learn the business on that end? <laughs> That's another thing. Literally, just being myself. So. I have no. <laughs> I have no. Like when people, you ain't got no family story. But no, no but, but but that's I good got, though. I ain't got that's nothing. That, I ain't got nothing. I paid for to be like, okay, you got to do this <laughs> like this. I literally follow my spirit and be myself. Um, I have things I picked up from no. the internet, like you got like timing. Mm-hmm. Um, but shit, I, if I if I be real, most they they say you need to post about three four times a day. I don't even do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. I post when I feel like I posting. Um, am I, um, yeah. Okay. I'm like I keep looking at this. <laughs> like I'm talking to somebody on this. I'm yeah, sorry. Can, just, no, you can like, talk to the mic. You can talk to. The mic. <laughs> okay, but I post. When I feel like, like posting, yeah. I I watch times, mm-hmm. you know, from time to time. But if I feel in my spirit, I just post it again. And then I tell myself, don't worry about views. Um, okay. If this can help somebody today, okay. do it. You know, sometimes I don't even feel like posting, but it's something in my spirit, like share this energy today. Yeah, right. Somebody might need this energy today because they don't got it for themselves. Because I know I can get on the internet and see somebody like say Drewski mm-hmm. in a time I'm I depressed like as yeah. hell and yeah. it will literally lift my spirits. And that's why I feel like God got for me to do too. Is it anybody that you just want to work with? You know what I'm saying? Like if it's, if, if it's some people out there that, that me, me to go want to work with. Oh, well, I'll say for Drewski. Okay. Um, that's in the, that's in the comedian aspect. Cause I, you know, I'm real funny. I love comedy. Uh, artist aspect and rapping. I love the baby. That's that's like yeah. my rapping twin we want to y'all me. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, love the baby. Yeah. Um, then we have. Um, I would love to do some with Missy Elliott. Uh, she's that creative that's, that's side who I of was me. Thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. y'all would be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that creative side. Like that just pop out. Like ah, but you're not ah. Like you're not. It ain't aggressive. It's just so different, and it flows to where. Yeah, that girl. She she gonna she gonna pop every time. What what made you um I think like um for me I love your rap uh to me you are a great content creator Thank you. you know what I'm saying and so how do you pick and choose like what you really want to do you know what I mean you know most people would be like oh you gotta be one oh my god well, you know what I'm saying good God <laughs> I haven't heard that so, <laughs> so fucking much that. like you know until saying? people just let left me the fuck alone I do <laughs> what the fuck I want to do. Cause this is all the gifts God gave me, yeah. so it's all gonna work in my favor. And I got some more shit to bring to the table too. <laughs> okay, so it's like at this point in life, I feel like preaching today. I'm gonna preach. I feel like a word is on my spirit, and God gave it to me to do. I'm gonna do. If I feel like twerking the next day, I'm gonna twerk. I don't give a fuck. No ass and all. Okay, fuck y'all. That's the end of the day. I'm gonna do me. Okay, I'm gonna sing my gospel. I'm gonna. 
do um my ratchet shit. I love my sex and red. I love it. I so no matter what, my comedy stuff, my funny stuff, my rapping stuff, whatever I'm feeling, it's all in me. It's all me, me to go. So that's what God got me to do. And with the industry being like, it's about the women. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they got us fucked. <laughs> they got us it's, fucked. A, it's, it's about the women. And I, so I know you got a lot of people that's asking you to do stuff. How do you... How do you tell them no? Or how do you tell them yes? Or how do you pick? You know what I'm saying? Because I know you want to show some love to people, but I know you want to still kind of be you. So how do you pick and choose or say no or yes to people? I watch how people approach me. That's the first thing. I watch how people approach me. Um, I'm, I always tell people I'm introverted and extroverted. Okay. Like, I'm I'm an ambivert. What that means? Um, that means I'm introverted and extroverted. Are you the, are <laughs> you the, the right word for are you ambivert? The mirror? About that. Yeah, are you the mirror? I, I have, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, am, I have that big personality, but I love being to myself. Okay. Um, I'm big on energy. Um, I'm big on uh moods and stuff like that. So. I have a thing of, I don't want to work with everybody. I don't okay. want to be connected to everybody. So I'm going to watch how you come to me. I'm going to watch how you are in person. Most people I don't meet in person, but if something, you know, I watch some, something on your page or something speaks to me. Yeah, all right. You know, this might be something that will connect in our purpose or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. And just what people got going on. Cause everything you, everything people got going on is not going to be for me, right, you know, right. just because, Oh yeah. Oh, uh, you a hard artist. We need to get on this song again. Maybe the fuck we don't need to get on the same song. Okay. <laughs> we might not be talking about the same shit. <laughs> we might not be going in the same area. You might be hard than a motherfucker. And I be, might be hard, but I just let it. I, it's just like, is first off also authenticness you know yeah. if it doesn't if it's not attracting the way it needs to i mean attract or flow the way it needs to flow i don't be caring to have too much to deal do with it but how do you and, and then how do you stay humble like you're going freaking viral at least once or twice a month you know yeah. what i'm saying and but so how do you how do you stay humble in that with just being you know what i'm saying like you could be walking around here like you a celebrity. Yeah, you know like the, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess Are you a celebrity? Do you look at yourself like a celebrity? Oh, my goodness. You know and that's so funny. That is so funny that um, people do treat me like a celebrity. Yeah, they should. Um, yeah, but it's like, it's hard to take Embrace on that. in a sense of I don't treat myself as such, but people tell me I should. Um, I feel like shit. If I ain't got a million dollars and made it out the hood yet, yeah. I, I ain't treat myself <laughs> like I a mean, motherfucking yeah. celebrity. Fuck all that. And I probably won't do it today. I don't know. But I have also learned that you do, I do have to treat myself in a certain caliber of I am great. I yeah. am who I am. Okay. So I don't have to treat myself in a low standard because some people are down here and you like, oh, I don't want you to think I'm I'm up here while you did hey, yeah, yeah, I'm up here because I done did the motherfucking work. You might work. be down there. Yeah, you, know you might saying? be fucking down you know there. Hey, I, I, I done did the work and I'm doing the work. So I have to treat myself up here. But um, it is a thing of... I ain't too used to it again. The hood in me, you feel me? I ain't even used to people running up on me too much. And I'll tell them, like, I love the uh, people support me. I thank God for the support, but I'm still not completely used to it. Are you a Demir or Demir or whatever they Demir. call it? What is Demir. it? Demir. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's why I ain't Demir. saying what shit. Is it? I ain't, doing, I ain't saying what shit. Is it? I don't know. What I, is Demir? Demir, it just sounds real classy. <laughs> I don't fucking know. We need to look up that definition. Because I'm looking it up before I say some shit at my Demir. What the fuck does Demir mean? How do you not fall into the trends? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is, like, really trendy. Like, how do you yeah. not fall into the trend? You know um, what I'm saying? Just if it don't, me to go. If it don't speak to me, I ain't going to do it. Because I, I would say um, it might be a trend. Like, say, a dance challenge or something I might want to mm -hmm. do because I love to dance, you know. Um, but certain stuff, it literally, if it don't speak to me, like, I don't know what Demir is. <laughs> so I'm not fucking saying Demir. I don't know. I might say it next week when I learn what the fuck it is. But right now, I don't know what Demir <laughs> is. Okay? You catch me saying it next week, Judge a Manny. Okay? Because I, fi I found out what the fuck it was. <laughs> Shit. That's all it is. <laughs> okay. Me, me to go. Let me ask you a question. Because um, have you ever cheated on anybody? Cheated on anybody. Like a boyfriend, you know, you got to keep it real. <laughs> if, you, if you ever cheated on any of your boyfriends. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, oh. I would say okay. no. Okay. Um, But society would say <laughs> yes. Like okay. I, because, um, and this is so funny because so this is something uh I love right now in what space I'm in. I'm very real with myself. Yeah. I probably always had a nigga on the side of, 
he gonna be ready. When you fuck up, he ready. Okay. Now I'm not fucking him. That's cheating. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I, I said what society right there. I ain't said what society thing. Nah. <laughs> you thinking it was a- I, I had it was always niggas waiting. Like So do you got a nigga on the side now is what nah, I'm saying? hell no. Okay. <laughs> hey, fuck no. That's what I say. This is the one thing I done learned about myself. And my nigga will tell you, I am very real. Myself. If I'm not going, if if I don't feel like secure and like I if I don't feel like I need to be in a relationship, I'm not going to be in a relationship because the younger me learn in the hurt that I went through. Mm-hmm. Hold on. These niggas always got a motherfucking somebody on the motherfucking side. And so you going to have so, one hey, too. But I'm not going to fuck them, not touch them, but you'll have a nigga checking in to see, are you single yet? Boom, boom, boom. You feel me? And as soon as I get single, they right there, the date is finna happen. But the now date. in who I am, in the grown woman I am, I bet, baby, I'm going to be single if I want to be single. So I don't have to endure in the toxic toxicity, if that's the word, if I'm saying it right, okay, <laughs> of, hey, this might happen. We might break up, so let me have a nigga on the side. Fuck all that. I'm going to just be fucking single. My nigga, no. Like, hey, we going to do this? We going to do this do motherfucking it. right. Fuck all that. Because I'm, I'm a person, I like being alone. I uh-huh. like being to myself. Again, I am a Sagittarius. I can okay. be alone. So if we together, it's real. That made me to go cook and stuff with her bed. I and do, and I don't said. fucking like cooking. Yes. And he was, yeah, if he was, yes, I can cook. I don't like cooking, though. Cooking. What? Okay? That's when you know I love somebody, because I'm fucking cooking. cooking. Okay? Because I don't like cooking at all. I don't know how to cook, though. So, I and he, he'll tell you, she know how to cook. Oh, I'm sorry. She, yeah, no, you good. You got it. No, you okay, can, yes. She know how to cook. If you're alive, cook. subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, and he 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 brings out that feminine energy to where it comes. It come in and out because I have mm-hmm. a battle with my masculinity, okay, okay. and my independence, okay. okay. But I definitely love to cook. How, how do you let um? How do you humble yourself down and let a man be the man of the relationship? Okay, okay, that's a good question. Okay, being real. Okay, okay. so first I would say. A man has to show you that they are in a place to lead. Okay. Because when you're dealing with a woman, they cause you you got you got some fake females that think they doing the the, the nigga shit. No, I done did the nigga shit. Ooh. I'm raised by a woman that had to you do the nigga seen shit. You had a couple yeah. side people like hey, the I, hey, don't happen. My cousin, my people tell you she's <laughs> like a nigga. I for real. So cause the masculinity part, I had to tap more into the masculinity than my feminine, mm-hmm. right? So. I, I had to I had to really like um I would say and I ain't gonna say really I had to a man had to show me they could be a man. Okay. And as I allowed it, it helped me to be like, okay, all right, let it happen. Because a woman does need a man. Like you Most do definitely. need a man. Yeah. At first it's like, hold on, I'm independent. I don't need a man. I don't need a man for shit. But when you have a real man, okay. not a little boy acting like a man, because okay. you got the ones that's, oh, you could be 50 years old and think you're a man. No, you're just 50. That's You're not a man. A man is actually going to take care of your mental, your emotions, yeah. their mental, their emotions, right. actually grow and know from the household. Because there's so many parts to being a man to have to to be like, oh, I can sit down, I can chill, and I can just be in my feminine. Yeah, that's just, they, it's just, I had to literally just, my man, I would say, had to grow into that for okay. me to be able to say, I can sit back and I can be in my feminine. Do you have to teach? Do you have to teach a man how to treat you, or do you think a man should just most definitely just yeah, come you in and teach know? A, you got you know, to. What you got to do to? Teach, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I would <laughs> say in this generation, in this society, in this time, you definitely have to. Teach a man in a sense of how you love yourself. Okay. Um. Now there are men that love themselves and understand who they are. Because mm-hmm. when you understand who you, who you are and know who you are, you're able to understand other people, okay. right? Most people, most men are growing and they don't understand that. So for a woman, you have to stand on who you are and true to your boundaries, true to yourself, your worth and stuff to be able to be like, hey, you either gonna respect who I am. Mm-hmm. And love and nurture who this woman is, or you can get on. And this, yeah. Do you think you can have a relationship with a man that don't like your mama? Oh, no. We'll be beefing. Okay. <laughs> now, my mama was, again, they, my mama had that nigga syndrome, okay? okay? She had to be the mama and the daddy, Ooh. okay? So sometimes she'll she'll get to starting some shit out of nowhere where she had to calm down and be like, right, I got to let my daughter, you know, be grow and be who she is and let her be in her relationship. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, disrespecting my mama, I can't I can't deal in nothing like that. Because first off, as a man, men should not be disrespecting women at all. Period. Um, 
I would say women should not disrespect men either. What do you, you know think? What I'm saying? This is, you know, I'm glad you brought that up mm-hmm. because we living in a super crazy generation where men bash women on mm-hmm. the internet all day, every day. Like, mm-hmm. I just can never see myself like, you know, me, I'm so precious. And I'm like, you talk. And so, so how, how is women dealing with that these days when they know it's all these men like, oh, she this, she that, this, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know was, what I mean? Do you just kind of stay away from it? Do you comment on it? Do uh, Mimi go want to go off on it? You know what I'm saying? Listen, uh, me, is it just, is it a different generation or something? You know what I'm this saying? This is definitely a different generation. I say, hey, me personally, take all that pussy ass shit on somewhere. You get on that old bitch ass <laughs> shit. I don't want to deal with it. I hate bitchy shit, okay? Um, I think women are more so, that's what's throwing us more in our masculinity. Okay. Because if we be real, like, the generations before, the men were men. Yeah. You know, and now this generation, the women should have to basically be the men because men be more in a feminine than women. So, shit, even as me being... Well, learning to get more in my feminine, but in my masculinity, shit, I'm not finna argue with no bitch ass nigga. You want some bitchy shit, sir? Go get help. Get your go, help. go to therapy. Go to therapy. And, and, and understand, yeah. you too damn emotional. Okay, <laughs> did you? You should not be more emotional than my motherfucking ass as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay so and some stuff should be ignored some stuff shit sometimes you got to tell a nigga what it is and be real with them okay and then you got people that don't even men this is another thing too where you know a man ain't being a man when they cannot take criticism mm. first off you ain't always right just because right. you are of age yeah. or you think you got some kind of experience real men love to learn real yeah. men Ooh, love to top. grow most Definitely. Okay. So if you are somebody taking offense to every single little thing or every single little critique, you was you on that bitch ass shit. Yeah, you got a that bitch ass shit. Okay. <laughs> you, so far, are we supposed y'all? Yeah, go ahead. Just great. Go okay. <laughs> you on a that. bitch. Okay. <laughs> and you need to go seek help. And it's okay to seek help because that's where it comes in of a lot of men was raised by their they mothers and a lot of mothers are highly emotional so you raise emotional men, men. then you have men that you have some men that's in the the life and stuff like that but they're not there how they need to be there or they have not worked on themselves how they need to work on themselves so they raise emotional men Ooh. and you have that too you know so as an, a woman that is learning her emotions and again cuz I was more in masculine um it's okay to have emotions but a man should not be more in their emotions Emotions. than a woman at all you should be more in your logic you should more be more uncomfortable in being calm and um just more mental than anything like this this woman might be feeling this so let me not get in my feelings too because she (laughs) might need to be heard she might need to feel and get out let me help her Get through her emotions, okay? By getting through my emotions on another end, not yelling back at her or like, well, like women are this, 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 and this, and this, this. <sighs> yeah, this let, let me ask you a question, Mimi, because I want because you you gonna tell me the truth on this. Yes, I am. Okay, so if my girlfriend is your best friend mm-hmm. and she's out here cheating, mm-hmm. and I call Mimi to go say, "Hey, Mimi, <laughs> is my is my woman with you?" First off, are you lying for her or not? Let me tell you something. <laughs> <Are> you, <laughs> it you? definitely matters the situation. Because if you one of them niggas that's just out of nowhere, like you come in or whatever, y'all just start dating and stuff, first off, you're not going to have my number. Okay? My, me and my girls don't play that shit. I got my okay? I DM you, though. Yeah, you, shit, you. a nigga wouldn't even be able to DM me because we wouldn't even be that close. Plus. Okay? If you not like family... Okay. Boy. And first off, I will always be real. Me and my girls, we real with each other. Okay. We don't do all that yes man shit. I will have my girls back, right or wrong, but I will always tell them when they're wrong, just as they will tell me when I'm wrong. So as to answer your question, I would say it matters how close we are. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and just honestly, I wouldn't get in it. Facts. I facts. wouldn't get in it. I would say you need to talk to your girl. You know. If 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 your dude um is it cool for your dude to follow your friends? <laughs> I 
don't like this shit. I don't care. If y'all was friends before me. No, they weren't people. Like, your dude just met you and then you got Avery on and Sweet Paws and all them. And he yeah. Just, it, it definitely okay. matters what the relationship is. Okay. I would say from business, um, that's that's probably the only thing. Like if you just following them out of nowhere and it ain't no connection there, that's weird ass shit. That's weird. Fuck no. <laughs> but no. business and um, business, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't see any other thing. Why you fuck with you be following them? Why would you want to follow her friends? So, yeah, like fuck out of here with that oh, bullshit. Because if they posting themselves. What you do for the like the pictures? Yeah. God damn it. A quote. <laughs> go find a quote page or something. I don't know what the fuck you need to do, but don't be following. Yeah, I don't well, know about that. That is be, that's some more weird ass shit. Don't be me to go friends. Yeah, you if, got we, a business if it going ain't on. business, that is not a thing to be doing. Or if you didn't know them before, like if you knew them before me, that's different. And that matters what, how you knew them, why you knew them. Yeah, you got to get down to the Pacific. Um, I got a game I play. Okay. And I want to play it with you. All right. Uh, it's called Pick a Side. Pick a Side. And you have to pick a side. <laughs> you got to you got to you got to pick a side. Um All right. If these two women are in the vase versus who you picking? Lil Kim or MC Light? MC Light. I would I would probably pick MC Light. Why would you pick MC Light? Um, oh, Kim. It would be more so of in the oh, let me give this disclaimer too. Okay. I grew up on their music, okay. but I didn't grow up in like just the rapping of, oh, they the hardest, they the hardest. I just grew up in the musical really? sense of listening. Yeah. Um, so MC Light is just more gutter on how she, and, uh, and not in the sense of, look, him was gutter talking too. Mm -hmm. She was more sensual and sexual though. Uh, MC Light was the hood, and, uh, like she like a nigga, you feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah, it just I I love that kind of demeanor, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's why I will pick MC Light on the verses. That's why I would. Okay, I got another. One. This is gonna be a little harder for you. This is your generation. Okay. Um, if these two women is in the verses, who you picking, Cardi or Nicki? Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So another disclaimer. <laughs> okay. We can't keep on getting disclaimers. Another disclaimer. <laughs> Um, I love them both for my own separate reasons. Okay. Um, I am a Sagittarius. Nicki Minaj is a Sag. Cardi, I love her personality, her realness, her her humor, how she came up. I uh, I have a admiration for that. Um, so them in a versus, I think Nicki would take it. Uh, Nicki grew up in more in the that New York rapping. You feel me? Just hard hitting shit. <laughs> Cardi is like um. More so just musical in a sense of she just doing her music. She ain't trying to be the hardest. She ain't trying to be the best. She even used to say that. Like, I ain't trying to be the queen of shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just out here rapping. Mm -hmm. Okay. And doing yeah. me. This what's getting me to where I'm going. Most definitely. So respect. So who you picking? Shit. Why we got? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you still didn't tell me. That disclaimer ain't going to work. I so who, am who going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to pick. I am going to pick. What are we versing? Are we versing the lyrics? Are we versing we the just versing the lyrics, the okay. song, the performance? Okay. I, <laughs> I am picking Nikki. This one right here going. This one right here gonna be. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I really wanna get about two more. This is this is gonna get. This is right here. If these two ladies is in a versus, who you pick? Sweet poison or blazing big? Oh, sweet poison or blazing. I love everybody. I love you do. Oh, I love uh, everybody them, these too. these girls. Cause I love my, all the girls. Like yeah, I'm, a, and I, know, I'm, and I'm, I'm a fan of them all. Yes, and this is because I and I, I think was, that's a good verse. <laughs> but look though, this is what I I do not like. Uh, this especially in my city is comparing the women and having to put us up together. I know you. I know. I know. But it's. I know. But, it's a, you know I know. but we, you a versus. Okay, so I would say. <sighs> Oh, how can I pick? How can I pick? Cause Sweets, she has uh so many catchy songs. She has so many catchy songs. Um, Blay, she's a more she more lyrical. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, how would I pick that? How would I pick that? 
<laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I put you uh, on. Like, I got her. I got her. <laughs> We're going to even with it. Yeah, because that's all I got for it. It's this, the even This is, the, this is why I do split. that. And um, I do that. <clears throat> when I bring up Nashville artists on my show, I bring up their name to keep their name out there. Yes, I love that. You know, a lot of people think this is not a... That was just a question. We're just having fun. But I always bring Nashville people up. I just want to keep your name out. I just want to keep their name out there. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. for me, it's not no favorite. I don't have a favorite person in Nashville. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so even when it's dealing with the Nashville community on music, like how do you feel about the whole music community? Huh. So the whole music, well, I would say now I love the music community, mm -hmm. um, especially my generation of how we're growing and everybody just loving and supporting. Mm -hmm. Um, because when I first got in it, it, it was cool. It was just, it, it just seemed like a lot of hate. Yeah. And I don't get off into that extra ass shit. Uh, but right now I just see a lot of true love it and is. supporting everybody just trying to excel. Everybody trying to do them, be them and get to where they are going. Um, it is a select few though. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause you still have the people that, uh, feel a, they worth more than what they are not just in opinionated and hating and all that extra shit but you got a select few of us that are genuinely being real authentic in our own lane and just lifting each other up what does it take to be Mimi the girlfriend huh like how hard is it to how hard is it to get oh to my god I, I'm one of them people yeah. I am one of them people oh my god Rick I'm one of them people <laughs> that I, I try not to do too many new friends that's first off because I have a lot of um I am blessed with relationships that have been 15 plus years. Okay. Um, uh, they are family. Okay. Um, any new relationships or newer relationships, it has to literally be divine. Like just from sent from God. Um, and I, I, I ain't going to say everything been sent from God. Okay. Yeah. Some been some trauma bonds some and been shit. From a, okay. Some, some been some trauma <laughs> bonds and shit. Doesn't have to learn. Got to let go. No love lost. Just can't eat, eat at the same table. Um, but I would say, you know, a relationship with God, um, definitely realism, any relationship, being real with yourself, uh, being real with me. Uh, cause usually if you're real with yourself, you're going to be real with other people. Um, loving, big hearted, um, purpose driven, um, great personality, supportive, um, yeah. Understanding, emotionally intelligent. <laughs> it's just it's so many you gotta be things. emotionally emotionally intelligent, intelligent please cause oh my goodness at this big age most people do not understand their motherfucking emotions and me personally as a person that is working and still growing and healing okay I can't deal with somebody that not understand emotions because it takes too much it's like dealing with kids like a kid you give that pass on cause they don't understand their goddamn emotions Pe grown people Baby, I'm gonna need you to go learn about them emotions, emotions okay? Yeah. We all got them. We all feel them, okay? So go learn about yourself. Go get your emotions intact. But there you go. And I know your confidence come from God, but how do you stay confident? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, oh. you know what I'm saying? How do you stay confident? You know, so I know you're cute and all that, all yeah, that, you're talented yeah. and all that, but how do, how do you stay, stay confident? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, cause I'm always go back to God, man, because I've been a person that ain't been confident. Okay. I've, I've come from having to learn to be confident. Okay. You know, I've always been popular. I was been known, but it's always still things that were broken in me mm -hmm. that I, I was a weak person. The weakness made me stronger okay. because who I grew into and what I've learned, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, and to be able to stay in the confidence is literally through prayer and, um, speaking life into myself, being positive, um, being around great energy, you know, speaking good energy into myself, you know, music is just so many things that help me vibrate high and stay in my confidence because I do have days okay. where I question myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you got to talk to God because that's where I get my confidence from. And then he gives me these tools to utilize to bring the confidence back. So that's why I always go back to God. Again, I know it's sounds cliche. How do you get along with your siblings? Get along with my siblings. How do you get along with? Do you get along with your siblings? I get along how? with. I get along with everybody. I am the person Which everybody one of them loves. That you don't get along with. You don't get along. I get along. Sibling. I get along with everybody. Okay, I'm good. the. I am the Sagittarius sibling. Everybody loves me. I am the life of the party. Everybody wants to be around me. Mm -hmm. You know, people are not used to me even being sad, man. I'm talking about even bringing back up a situation like through my traumas. Like okay. people don't even remember things like the hardships I've been through because I have that personality of you would never thought like you. You will forget because I'm just. 
just a person of great energy, big energy. So I really get along with everybody. And so, but I'm just saying, so, and I know, like I said, again, I know it comes from God, but who keeps you up? Because it's like, I know you and your energy, you hold everybody up. We love to see your freaking post. Like you, one of the people on TikTok, I love TikTok. I go check. Let me see if Mimi to go yeah. posted anything. You know what I'm saying? And so, but who keeps who keeps you up? Who you call on to kind of get you up a little bit? Everybody needs somebody. Oh my goodness! So God has blessed me with friends um, that keep me uplifted. Uh, that are where I am, or even further. I have a cousin. Um, I have close cousins. I have close best friends um, that I can call if I'm down today. They probably up and they mm-hmm. they'll. Re- bring my spirits up, you know, um, really any relationship in my life that's close to me right now, they are my people to lean on and, uh, just give me the where I'm, where I'm, I could be down like, who I'm, I'm, all my emotions are flooding right now. Yeah. I could just call my best friend and she gonna be like, all right, let's work through it. Let's, let's get go, through let's it. Go, okay. The next day she might have some shit going on. And I got the energy for it. And it just mm-hmm. balances. God has blessed me with healthy relationships and growing relationships to get me through. Me, me to go. Um, you are too inspiring. You're not very inspiring. You are too inspiring. And I always say, when I want somebody on my platform, it's not because of your platform, Mm -hmm. which you got a big one. (laughs) You got got a great big one. But but it's more about your spirit and who you are. And uh, we want you to stay who you are. We want you to encourage. um, How do you see yourself helping people once you get there? Mm. Once once you get all the way to where you're going, how how do you see yourself helping people? I see myself doing so many great things, um, especially if I get that bag, bag. Oh, I'm baby, I'm, bag, bag. I'm changing. I tell people from mothers, like one of my biggest things are mothers, like especially single okay. mothers, having okay. to be a young mother and seeing and knowing the struggle from postpartum depression, from having to do things on your own that most people wouldn't even fathom or understand, like what we go through. If I when I do have that bag and being able to open programs to help mothers to um, open facilities, especially therapist facilities to where people have safe spaces to go to. That's something so big for me. Um, Another thing I, uh, when I get there, I truly, and I, as I'm doing it, I'm working now too. Not just when I get there, you know, Um, but just more so of if God places something on my heart, it's like, that's what I want to do, you know, because uh, I'm not I ain't trying to change the the world. I'm just trying to do what God got for me to change, because uh, I mean, the world is what it is. It's, it's a balance. It's a balance. But whatever, God, especially in my city, man, it's so many things from property. Like I'm That's learning on all these things, thing. but I'm just like, I want to be one of the people that buy the block back too. you feel back. me like I, I want us to be set up like, you know, our downtown, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, Nashville downtown is. Yeah, typically a lot of white people. It is, okay? you know um, it is. I can't wait to see more black black uh on on a strip. I can't wait for us to have our own downtown. Right. You know, like have Memphis and stuff like that do and collaborate with other people of wealth that mm-hmm. want to do the same. And I can definitely see a lot of us artists, like especially in today's uh our generation now, like us all putting in somewhere all to, y'all together. to you know build something up, you know, in the same mindset. Um what else? Um kids. Oh, um, mm. I've uh kid God has hit me with kids so you heavy. are so talented with the kids. Why do these freaking kids love you? Oh my God! I, first, what, I, why do they love you? That's first, I want, I'm a you child. Look, I'm a child at heart. And that's first <laughs> off, okay. Um, and then being real, you know, coming in authentic, like most the people kids know who really yes. Way. Dead ass, okay? Um, definitely even on down to being a mother, you know what I'm saying? But God has placed me around kids, especially for my dance challenge. Like, mm-hmm. it's been so many. Well, I wouldn't even think I'd be dancing with kids. Shout out to G3. Yeah. I love them. Um, is, do they so all I'm, be different groups of kids, or is it, it uh, be like the same? You know what I'm saying? When I'm performing, it's the same group of kids. Okay. So, that's Glamorous Golden Girls. Okay. Um, 
I go around the school. Sometimes people hit me up from school. Sometimes I hit other people up, you know, check in to see if I can come. Definitely. Um, so it that be different people when you see me recording on the internet and stuff Thanks. with different uh schools. But the kids, man, I see why God got me around kids because it starts at kids. Like mm-hmm. we all are even who we are because it started at our childhood. Right. You know, we have to go even to heal, you have to go back to childhood. And it's so many broken spirits, mm-hmm. like especially in these babies, okay. Mm-hmm where all they got to do is look at the internet and that's what's leading them and guiding them. Mm-hmm. So they, God is obviously putting real people around these babies so that they can see because a lot of people don't have it in their parents. A lot of people don't have it in no community of people to help them through, um, to be, to grow, to be better and to be authentic and true to themselves. Mm-hmm. And, as a person that is that, you know, even if I can help one or two kids, I don't know how many kids I'm going to help. Well, who God got me to help? Be millions. But it's obviously going to be. You're already helping a lot. Yeah. Um, for that single mother um, who don't know where she's going tomorrow, can you speak to her? Listen, baby. Woo. Trust in God. Be patient with yourself. Okay. Give yourself time to rest. Okay. Your time, your mind. If you can take a break, take a break. Oh my goodness. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for taking a break from them kids. Okay. If you are a full-time parent, it is okay to, you have to have self-care. You have to be great for you to be great for them. Now you should find balance. Okay. Don't just write the kids off completely. Okay. But you got to find balance for both of you. You all, okay? I don't know how many kids you got, but you got it. You gonna get through it, okay? I don't care if you down right now, if you depressed right now, please believe me. You be positive and say, I got this. I can make it through. God got me. You are going <laughs> to make it. God is, it's all, you just gotta get through the tunnel, okay? It's just your emotions, it's just your feelings, and God will get you through it. I promise you. And love on them babies and love on yourself. Now, for that single man that been cheating all his life, and then he want a woman, Give him some encouragement. Please go heal. <laughs> Please stay away from anybody until you go and heal. Okay. Um, and not saying, okay, let me let me run it back. Let me run it back. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, you don't have to be all the way healed. Okay. Okay. But you should definitely be working on yourself. If you know you've been cheating, you know you're a hoe at heart. Okay. You need to make sure that that hoe at heart. It's ready to settle down. No. Yeah. No. Because I, I tell people too, right? You got to understand who you are. Mm-hmm. That hoe in you, it'll always be in you. Okay? It it will all, that's some, It might be something that is a part of you, right? But you are able to grow and change and say, hey, little hoe, we're going to keep <laughs> this down in here because we ready to be little a man. Ho. Little hoe. Well, hold keep that little hoe down. All right? Because we, we don't need the hoe no more. We Because once that hoe go away, you're going to get that great woman. And you're going to be like, I don't even want them hoes no more. You feel me? Because that great woman that God sent for me, she takes care of everything within me to make me a better man. Let that little hoe go. <laughs> let that little hoe go. We're going to end this out with let that hoe go. <laughs> if you're alive, you subscribe. You're going to get you a good woman. <laughs> let that little hoe <laughs>